What do you guys say we try doing the first oil change in the skidoo? Hmm? What do you think? Should we try that? No? Maybe? Yeah, well, it looks like I might be on my own. So, first oil change on the skidoo. Run a couple tanks of gas through it. And so the break-in procedure is to change the oil. So hopefully it won't be ridiculous. We'll go through it. The oil from Skidoo, uh, not the best price. And um, we got the owner's manual here, so we'll <clears throat> see what it says and see how close it is. And we'll keep it posted here as, it, as we go through the oil change. Okay, so it looks like there is a plate in the description in the owner's manual with T30 to um, T30 screws. So we'll take this plate off and see if we can access the drain ports. There's supposedly two of them. Okay, the port cover came off. It's super odd. It fits up inside the unit, so you kind of have to do some gymnastics to get it out. But once you do, it's not that bad. And then it reveals these two drain plugs. So we'll undo those. The owner's manual is very clear saying both have to be undone. And I don't see why that's not a problem. So let's do it. Okay, the. Uh... One to the left is a six millimeter Allen wrench. No one know it's dripping. I t just loosened it just a hair. It came really easily. And the one to the right, some kind of Torx in the center, but then I just use a 10 millimeter on the outside. It's much easier. Both of those drain plugs need to be um, taken off. So there are the two screws that uh, come out. Uh, really close together, so you are gonna get oil all over your hands, but that's just part of a oil change. Seems to be draining pretty good. Uh, steps in the book seem to match reality. All right, so now we're gonna work on the oil filter. It's got a bunch of dust all over the machine here in the garage. We've been doing a bunch of woodwork. So to get to the oil filter, you gotta take off this side panel. It's time to do the little locks here. Slides up. Literally just slides up. It's going to be interesting with one hand. It just comes right off. Just set it carefully here in the back somewhere. And the oil filter is right there. So we're going to try and reach in to Skidoo's it's horribly placed, very poorly designed oil filter location. Okay, so eight millimeter, use a shorty quarter inch drive. Eight millimeter barely reaches in there. You have to use some pretty good gymnastics to get in there, uh, but it can be done. You don't need to take the muffler off. You don't need to uh, take stuff off, but you do need to have non-gorilla size hands. So if your hands are gorilla, then yeah, you might have to take some stuff off. Okay, so I got the uh, bolts off. Three of these little guys. No washers on them on the outside, which is fine because there's a big washer underneath this cap. All right, let's try and pry this cap off nice and gentle and see how big of a mess Skidoo makes for us. I really don't like this design. There's just, just oil is going to get everywhere on the inside of the engine. Cause all kinds of smoking for a while. It's just really amazingly poor design. Now to get this oil filter out is going to be really a chore. So the oil cap works in great shape. All right, let's see. Oh, bad of damage after I get that out. 
Okay, it wasn't horrible. Um, I'm a little bit just pre-planned um, frustrated because the, the Skidoo dealer that I bought this from told me that I had to take apart the whole top end, all kinds of procedure. He was like, you got to take the whole top off, come in from the top, then get to the oil. I wanted to try this and see if this was a mistake, and it, it's not. It's not too bad. I, I spilled just ever so little, so I'm going to have to... Um, I get to apologize to Skidoo here. This isn't that horrible. I had in my mind uh, what the Skidoo dealer that was trained by Skidoo telling me to take apart the whole top end. I mean everything. And it was extensive. Extensive. Windshield, instrument cluster, the whole top uh, red piece there just to get to an oil change. And he and I, when he was uh, doing the the uh, ship out for the brand new machine he, he was like you know this is not going to be fun this is a pain and I, and he's not happy i'm not happy so anyway um i'm going to give him a call and just let him know that you can come in through the side you know i'll drive it for a while and make sure that there's no problems but it looks like you can come through the side um you know it is surgery you're, you you are working with small hands no gorilla hands would do this very well um, but so far, so good. All right, I'm going to wipe this up with a nice clean rag and get rid of that old oil and put in the new oil filter and we'll do uh, the next steps. Okay, sorry, I got to hold it ahead of myself here. So I got the oil filter out, the seal, the new seal that came in. Uh, these will go on the nuts for underneath the bottom. Uh, paid 50 bucks for this. A uh, little bit of oil and synthetic approved by Skidoo for the warranty. Uh, the cap goes on a little bit tough. You have to really push it down pretty hard to force the oil filter to mate down to the bottom. And make sure to have the black side down. You want the silver type up and the black side up. Uh, I know that sounds obvious. Um, most people would never make that mistake. One time I put in a fuel filter upside down and <laughs> it was a whole two days of misery so um, stupid things happen to um, overly confident people and, and I, I definitely hit that two-day um, embarrassing lesson of obvious things are not always obvious when you're in a hurry so the cap goes on a little bit tough um, push it down pretty hard push it down harder it will, won't seal the whole way you will need to use the screws to get that done um, so it, it does touch, but it doesn't seal and you'll, you'll feel the difference and you'll feel, man, is this right? So just keep playing with it. It will eventually come to a level to where you can put the, the screws in and then tighten them to the torque level in the owner's manual here, which I'll show in a second. Okay, so I got the oil filter cap back on, tightened the three um, to the torque settings. It was not hard. It was, it was just, you can't have gorilla hands. Filled up the oil with the uh, um, <clears throat> two and teeny little quart, uh, quarter quart containers that come in that box. And it just, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that easy compared to some of the other four strokes that I've had, um, but um, that's life, so adjust. But anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. If okay, well that was embarrassing. I was told one thing and I'm pretty sure that the gentleman that was really super helpful at the Delta Power Sports here in Delta, Alaska, was told incorrectly as well. So just so with life, um, sometimes people will tell you that um, an oil change is difficult and it turns out to be just annoying, but not as uh, in involved as, as what we were told. So life lesson learned. That's pretty much why I started this channel is most of the Christian things that I'd learned through my life were told to me from someone who had been told to them through just habits and not something that came from Scripture, from the Bible. And that's why we do our normal Christian life videos on the YouTube channel. Hopefully that will be helpful to you. And I thank you for watching. God bless you guys.